what's going on everybody welcome back or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button you're coming back thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching out watching this video uh, this is a long overdue update on the tank but it's kind of cool because um, although I have been reefing uh, getting new equipment and things like that you can kind of see like the colors of the corals you know popping um, I got a lot of these things as frags and what a frag is when you buy a little piece of coral it comes with like one and then all of a sudden you know over time things grow out as you can see that multiple different heads of those uh, clove polyps right there I didn't get them like that so they are growing and everything is looking good I have a little bit of SPS here um, that got damaged when I moved uh, because uh, I ended up getting a different house ended up moving and a lot of the stuff that I used for maintenance got packed up in storage and things are starting to bounce back let's take a look at some of the zoas here you can see they're growing real good those are some hornets up there on the top left those are called rainbow hornets these ones are growing I got some uh, campfire pallies right there I didn't get all those heads they're starting to grow out um, I forgot the name of these but they're pretty cool also with time they've grown out and start to fill out these ones right here are doing really good I hope they take over that entire frag disc but the same thing you know get them as little frags and over time you'll have multiple ones I just kind of just set them forget them just keep an eye you can see that one right there was uh, super glued down but the snails um, they get things and they knock them over so with that <clears throat> I have to re uh, super glue them onto those tiles everything's looking good though I'm really happy how everything is coming out and within the next couple of updates hopefully those uh, zoas and pallies take over those frag discs but hopefully all of your guys' aquariums are doing good. If you're thinking about getting into reefing, uh, you came to the right channel. But I'll tell you right now, just go ahead and walk away because um, one of the complaints that you probably have is that the aquarium costs so much money. And that's only a little tiny fraction. So if you're going to buy an aquarium that costs $1,000, guess what? You're going to dump more than $1,000 into your aquarium. So you might as well just subscribe and watch videos and stay away from it if you're not really uh, committed because you will be spending a ton of money okay but if you are into it you know I'm telling the truth because you spent a lot of money on your corals uh, you spent a lot of money on your tank your lights all the equipment and a lot of you guys have top-notch equipment uh, me um, I started off with a bunch of you know stuff that works really good and was pretty cheap and eventually I upgraded to that stuff which I'm going to show you in a different video but right here let's go ahead and take a better look at these corals I'm really liking how everything is growing I like the rock structure I really don't want to mess around with it I just want these corals to grow and uh, give it some time you know it's starting to get there this tank is still uh, relatively new and uh, it's been through a lot but now that uh, everything is starting to look nice you know the different colors and everything but then again you know me being a reefer everything looks better with the blues on the blue LEDs because you can't really see the uh, the pests and enemies that I have in there Mahanos I've been using some stuff called uh, Frank, uh, the F Aptasia, and uh, it's pretty good. So I'm going to buy and put some more on there and cover up whatever I have going on. There's always something going on in a tank. But for the most part, I think everything looks pretty cool. These right here look awesome. Let me know what you guys think about those. Uh, what have you guys been up to? Have you guys, uh, are you guys still in the hobby? Have you guys upgraded? Have you got a smaller tank? The nanos are pretty sweet. Um, I like the big tank though. Um, I had the 25 gallon Innovative Marine Lagoon and that was pretty cool. But I really didn't do much with it. I just had it as a, a standalone frag tank. 
and with this one you know it's 150 gallons it's uh, more forgiving and uh, it's you know a lot of fun for me so what's up what are the plans for this tank right now I just want to get some more different kind of zoas and of course some SPS some thing nice that I can grow because I don't have uh, SPS skills like you I will say that um, since my tank is getting back up I did lose a lot of SPS like cool stuff that was growing out real good with different colors and everything and I have some of that still in this tank and, it, and it's starting to come back to life and I've been able to keep it keep it there um, but I want to get some different colors of Zoas I don't really want to uh, like chop them up anymore I just want to let them grow out and uh, the things that I do chop up I'll put it in a different uh, tank that 50 gallon low boy tank so it's been cool watching things grow you know you can see them right here I put them on the disc and the, they grow out on the tiles and hopefully they'll fill up this entire tile themselves but I'm really liking it let me know what you guys think here in the comments what are you guys doing where are you guys shopping from um, I like going to myreeftoyours.com he has some good Zoas right there at, at good affordable prices it's not ridiculous like with some of the Zoas that I've seen I also like shopping on eBay if you guys have um, some good uh, people that you watch and buy corals from on eBay drop them down in the comments below um, because uh, I'm always looking I want to show you this piece right here I got this one from uh, one of my Instagram buddies it's doing good and you can see uh, even with the blues on you can see kind of how blue this this piece is and it's awesome uh, what I've been doing right there I've just been dosing um, potassium that stuff works great you know I just do a, a cap full of it and the brand that I was using was the Aquamax brand back when uh, Marine Depot was selling it Marine Depot was kind of getting into the supplements like potassium and and alkalinity and things like that but that was through the Aquamax brand now that uh, bulk resupply got some I don't know if they're gonna do it probably not because they have that marine grade you know all their own little chemicals and all that this is one of the pieces that has been making it bounce back and I really love like the colors of it I'll try to get you a better shot of this for the day so you can see but you can, can see that it is coming back to life a lot of pieces are starting to come back and I had them nice and they were branching and everything but you know it's it's coming back and hopefully it makes it all the way back but this is a shot a full tank shot of the tank I think it looks pretty good you know it could be better I know that you know I'm not comparing myself with other people but you know my tank is looking good uh, it could be better and it also could be a lot worse so with that uh, I'm gonna kind of end it here just give you another glimpse of the tank and I hope you guys have been doing good I did make some changes to the sump area and equipment so i want to show you that in a, another video but for now i think this is a good video to kind of touch bases with all of you guys and say what up and for you guys to hit that subscribe button and follow along but this is the side view of the tank one of my favorite views um i love it you know it's looking pretty good right here there's some things that i want to clean up uh, i want to make some more space so i can add some different tiles and then with those different tiles I want to add some different zoas and pallies I'd also like to get rid of these racks that I have on here once I get the uh, frag tank going and uh, just so it'll be a lot cleaner looking um, even though I kind of enjoy this you know because everything's just growing and it's doing good I haven't been trading any corals usually uh, trading doesn't really work out for me I'm the one that uh, dishes out all the corals and everybody gets wins and then I really don't get anything back so I'm probably not going to be doing that anymore um, it's probably going to be just you know I'm just going to grow things out but anyways let me know what you guys think of the tank uh, what you guys want to see how are is your tank going and uh, what new equipment that you got or you think I should add and everything hit that subscribe button guys you guys take care like and subscribe and 
Take care. Bye.